Salutes, salute, salute, salute. Top of the AM. Welcome to the Real Big Fruit Podcast. I am your host, Big Fruit, also known as the Michael Jordan of recording early in the morning. Also known as the voice of the streets. What's poppin', peoples? How y'all doing out there this morning? Rise and shine. Y'all see the sun shining. The weather breaking down here in Charlotte. The sun is out. We looking forward to some great, great, great weather, man. I'm tired of this cold shit. What's good with you, though? We got that LG story behind the scenes. What we didn't mention, Papa. Boo Flair up there. He doing what he's supposed to do. I gave it to y'all, man. Simple and plain what it really is and what it really was. And, um, you know, I gave y'all food for thought. Now y'all do the dishes when it come to Boo Flair. You feel what I'm saying? But the LG story behind the scenes, what we didn't mention, keeps rolling. We keep rolling. As you know, I got gravy on deck. I'm going to drop gravy on March 9th. March 9th. I don't know what time. You know why I don't know what time I'm going to drop gravy on March 9th? Because I'm going to drop Easy Mo B on March 9th. Yeah, we doubling up for Biggie. Yeah, it's going down. I'm dropping the gravy joint, and then I'm going to drop the, the Easy Mo B joint. Back to back, Saturday, March 9th. Y'all know what it is. That's when we celebrate Biggie. I remember being in the PNAF, son, when I was buying the wall. It's my word. Big died in 9-7. Right? March 9-7. March 9-9, I celebrated my first Biggie day in Attica, y'all. All the Brooklyn niggas. Ah, yo, shut yo, bring shit out. Ooh, ooh. Attica, we couldn't really pop the way we wanted to. So in Attica, we had a couple motherfuckers cook food, pass it around from cell to cell. Everybody had a meal. Then we went to the yard. Everybody was on the Brooklyn court in the yard, blowing it down. You know what I'm saying? Niggas was out there rapping Biggie songs and all that shit. Police, six to a group, eat a dick. Yeah, we was wilding that night. That was the first night, first year I celebrated Biggie Day on March night. Attica, nah, nah. The same year, nah, nah. In May, on his birthday, in Attica, D Block. So when I did that shit in A block, which A block was like motherfucking Afghanistan, so we we had to do what we had to do, eat in the cell, come to the yard, smoke some weed, keep it pushing. But in May '99, I was in D block, and my boy Mojo was over there. Shout out to uh, Little Head Mojo out of Harlem. That's the family. That's the comrade. He was regulating D block on the, on the population side, on the outer block side. You had the motherfuckers all them. Boys from Rochester. Shout out to all the Rochester Buffalo boys. My boy Shamel. Skinny ass Malik. Yeah. They was over there in D block regulating out of block side. Because they was in out of block porters. Mojo was on the population side regulating that shit. Police love that little face nigga. Word. So D block, I was able to really move. Like, yo, Shun, this what I want to do. I got you. Mojo regulated that shit. Police led us to a 10 man crew. Did our little biggie thing. Cook, ate, all that shit, celebrated Biggie Day. So since 99 till about, I might have stopped around shit. My last Biggie celebration probably was in Sing Sing. No, I'm lying. I did it in Wendy's in March 06. I did it from 99 to 06 in different jails, whatever jail I was in. The best two we did, though, I'm going to shout out the Brooklyn boys in Auburn, man. Auburn. 01. May 01, we celebrated Biggie's birthday in Auburn. And I like that shit because all the OGs was there. And they let me regulate that. They was like, yo, do your thing, son. They let me regulate that. All the OGs was like, yo, just tell me what you need. I gave everybody a piece of paper with some shit on it. Other, my boy Vardo, shout out Vardo from Full Green. He burned it down. He cooked. Man, niggas was cooking chicken, fish all over the jail. When that shit came to Auburn Yard. In 2001, and we celebrated Biggie Day on my call, we fed the whole borough in the yard. It was so much fucking food. We fed the whole borough. The Harlem court was next door. We was like, yo, y'all need to come over here and get something to eat. It was lit. We celebrated Biggie Day mean in 01 in Oprah. And then I got my shit off in 04 in Sing Sing. Yeah, the police in Sing Sing. Not them niggas, because them dudes was on some suck shit. The female officers in Sing Sing was like, yo, we got you. 
They let me regulate shit. They let me tell them who was going to be carrying sodas and food to the yard. And they escorted niggas personally. Yo, he with me. He with me. He with me. Come on, fool. Let's go. Me and like five niggas rolled out with mad shit to the yard. Boom. Biggie day. Yeah, Sean. So it's only right that I do something on March 9th and I'm going to drop gravy. And I'm going to drop easy mob. When the month of May come around, I might think of something else. You feel me? Because we go always keep Biggie alive. But furthermore, with the LG story behind the scenes after Easy Mo B, we got 456, aka 450 Wick. 450 Wick was one of the most notorious builders in LG. A lot of action went down in that building. You know what I'm saying? That building is monumental in the projects. 433. And 456. But I'm going to put 456 up there as number one. That was like the Carter. We called it the Wick building for a reason. It was a... Matter of fact, both of these buildings, 433 and 456, both walked to the 20th floor. They're two of the biggest buildings in the projects. And 456 was like the Carter, man. We called it the Wick building because it, it was like everybody in the building was on elf welfare. Everybody in the building was... Fucked up, like it was crazy. You know what I'm saying? I remember visits of that shit in the '80s, man. It was crazy. But I'ma get to that. But more importantly, more importantly, when it come to 456, Sean, a lot of big names in LG came out of that building. And we gonna get to that. You know what I'm saying? We gonna talk about all the big names that came out of that building, starting with Black Pool. Rest in peace. I just did the joint for Pool. Pool was from 456. So rest in peace, to Black Pool. Shout out to my man, Big Black Pop, James Taylor. That's the guy. That's my man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Little Gary. You know what I'm saying? For 456. Yeah, yo, it's going there. All the niggas y'all keep asking about. Eyes, Tars, and they all live in that building. I'm going to give y'all the history that I know of. You know what I'm saying? Where the mother is going down. You know what I'm saying? 450 Wick. Oh, man. Shout out to Big Prince. You know what I'm saying? Prince was Prince's legendary. I mean, Prince like 6'4". Big light skinned nigga. You couldn't miss him in the projects. But he ain't played basketball. Prince was nice with his shit. Prince was in the gym, beating niggas bloody. Then he was coming to the projects, putting it down as a DJ. Then he was picking up his hammer, representing LG. Y'all thought I forgot about that? Nah, I ain't forget about Big Prince. Big Prince was a gangster back in the days with the long black trench coat. Shh, Big Fruit remember all that. <laughs> Word the mother. 456. The Wick building is going down. And I'm letting you know right now, it's going to be some controversy with this one. It's going to be some controversy with this one because I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to talk about how niggas from other projects was coming through booking niggas in the lobby. I'm going to talk about how niggas in that building uh, had a bad rap for telling on niggas. Like, I'm, I'm going to go there. And nothing I'm saying is cap. So I don't want niggas, yo, that nigga hating, that nigga lying. No. I'm going to give y'all what the streets already know. But the streets don't talk about it no more. I'ma remind y'all. That's what Big Fruit gonna do. When it comes to 456, I'ma remind y'all about a lot of shit. But once again, man, shout out to all Blackpool. Rest in peace. Shout out to Black Pop. You know what I'm saying? Whoa. Those was my guys, especially Black Pop. That was my man, Pop, big funny nigga. Yo, yo, yo. And Pop was in the penitentiary representing LG to the fullest. Pop damn near killed the nigga in Sing Sing. What, 9293? Damn near killed the nigga in Sing Sing. Then he cut the nigga fingers off. The nigga tried to. Uh, Pop had the big night. Pop, then they cut that nigga fingers off. Yeah, Pop gangster. <laughs> Word. Me, Pop, Pretty Boy Star was on the Southport 9 4. Me and Pop was on the same gallery. Pretty Boy's behind me. Pop used to be like, yo, fruit. It's like, yo, shut. That nigga wasn't talking like that before you came up here. It's like, word. Like, yeah, that nigga was talking like he's gonna kill you. I said, yeah, I know Pretty Boy, man. He said, I know him too. We robbed them in the lobby. <laughs> yeah, Pretty Boy, though. Niggas used to book Pretty Boy. Word. But that nigga Pop, yeah, he was one of them old, big, big, black, scary-looking niggas. Fucking with that building. Like I told you, a lot of niggas got booked in 456. Don't sneeze at the fact that that nigga said they booked star. Them niggas was booking everything in that lobby, son. That lobby was crazy. Crazy, Playboy. I ain't never get caught slipping in that lobby because when all that shit was going down, I was a little nigga. I wasn't selling no drugs. And when I was going to Midtown, I wasn't going in that building with my money. <laughs> so it ain't that I'm a tough nigga and niggas ain't get me. I just knew better. 
You feel what I'm saying? I just knew better. And by the time I started trying to hustle, I was posted up in that lobby with a burner on me because that was the building I was getting money in. You know what I'm saying? Me and Sleep. But that shit, that building got a history. That whole corner, D. Calvin Kent, the 456 Park. Yeah, we're going to get to all that shit. I'm going to burn it down for that one. But like I said, it's going to come with some controversy. And I don't want motherfuckers to be mad at me, but I'm going to give it up, son, because 456, a.k.a. 450 Wick, is a notorious building in Lafayette Gardens, and we're going to talk about it. And some major names came out that building. Some major incidents happened coming out of that building. Some major incidents happened in front of that building. My case in particular, right in front of 456. So what's going with that? It's going down. Once again, it's your boy, Big Fruit. I just wanted to jump on here and give y'all an update on what's going on on the channel. <coughs> Once again, we got that boo flare spinning. We got that boo flare spinning. Episode, I think that's eight. So nine is going to be gravy. Ten probably easy mode B. And I gave y'all a straight dime. Oh, you know what I'm saying? But we're going to drop gravy and easy mode B back to back. On March 9th, Saturday. I ain't giving you no time yet. Probably it's going to be one at 8, one at 9. I don't know. One at Yeah, probably because it's Saturday early. One at 7, one at 8 or some shit like that. Yeah, it's going to go down Saturday. Oh, I'm tired. Listen, the weather breaking. It's time to get off our asses and get back in the gym. You know what I'm saying? I've been hitting the bar over the winter. I ain't really been hitting no steel. I'm hitting the ball over the winter. You know what I'm saying? I've been working constantly. And to be truthful with you, son, this shit going down with the wife. Surgery is on March 19th. We ready. We locked and loaded. But I'm telling you, man, these past two months trying to get to the surgery, this shit been difficult, bro. But y'all going to hear all about that in her testimony because she's filming. Yeah, it's going down. She's filming her testimony. So that's going down. You know what I'm saying? She's filming her testimony and we're going to talk all about that. But these last two months been real, son. Word. You know what I'm saying? She checked in the hospital on me for like eight days or shit like that. I was home with the dogs. Yo, nigga wasn't eating. He's, oh, man. Nigga, weight fluctuate like a motherfucker. Bad enough, I can't eat everything. I just realized I can't eat no sauce. No red, no white. No more sauce. So that's the end of fucking... Uh, <clears throat> Chicken Alfredo shit. Yeah, that sauce don't sit well with my gut. I can't do it. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, it was real, son. And it's going to continue to be real. But I'm getting prepared for when she go down. I'm getting prepared. I will not get caught off guard like that, son. Or the mother. I will not get caught off guard like that. When she go check in for the surgery, I'm going to be able to be just relax at home, get focused, and bang out. Because I'm going to start my bang out when she do a surgery. Because I'm having more downtime to myself. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to start my bang out real crazy. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my boy Tiz. Tiz is on it. Tiz. Tiz getting his weight up. Tiz is on it. I'm coming, homie. I told you I'm down right now. I'm doing the, 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 the wifey thing. But when I get it back together, boy, you better watch out. Because I'm the greatest show on earth. I'm running my mouth now, right? Listen, I'm up out of here. It's your boy Big Fruit. Representing the Real Big Fruit Podcast. Also known as the voice of the streets, but I am also known as a Michael Jordan record. And this one is for the peoples to update on my content. So y'all keep it rolling, y'all keep it rocking. Because the LG story behind the scenes will be continuing on March 9th with gravy. And on March 9th with easy Mo B. A back-to-back -back tribute to Biggie. So y'all stay locked and loaded. Y'all keep spinning the joints that's on there now because there's a lot of information about LG. And the more you learn, the more you'll understand every time an episode is dropped. So you won't be lost trying to figure out what's going on. Go check the playlist on my channel. The LG story is all lit. Until next time. Until next time. Y'all be easy and y'all stay safe out there. Salute.